Hi, and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to use or write conditional weighted average formulas and use those in real estate modeling. Now, here I have a rent roll, and this is where I most often use this, and I want to do some analysis of this roll, rent roll. So, uh, for instance, I want to know what's the average rent. Well, I could just simply do an equals average of the rent and whatever, $23.36. The problem is some of these tenants are much larger than others. And so maybe I want to do a weighted average based on square feet. So I do a sum product, right? And I, I do my first array is rent. My second array is the square feet or what I'm basing or what the weight is based on. And then I'm going to do a sum of all of the square feet. Now I have a weighted average rent. And then I can copy this over and I can get a weighted average months remaining in the term. And so this kind of gives me a feel for what the overall rent roll looks like. But what if I want to just do a weighted average for certain tenant types. I have junior anchors, I have larger inline, I have smaller inline, I've got some out parcels, I've got this one anchor. What if I just want to do a sum or a weighted average for just those? Well, I could do those manually one by one in the same way that I did the weighted average for the entire rent roll, but there's a faster and a better way. Let me show you how that works. So we're going to use again a sum product. Okay. But instead of, in our sum product, uh, choosing first uh, our rent and then the square feet, which is what our weight is based on, uh, we're going to make this conditional. All right? and so we're going to set what, I, what condition or, or better put, uh, what category of tenant do we want to do this calculation on. And to do that, you do, open a, you do sum product, open parentheses, two dashes open parentheses a second time. Now as soon as you open parentheses a second time, Excel automatically converts those two dashes into a single long dash. So to, un to, to take that away, because we need two single dashes, there are two minus signs, we're going to do control Z, and it'll automatically undo what Excel had done. So we want two minus signs, and then we want an open parentheses. And then we're going to set the condition. First we're going to identify where we want this condition to be set. So we're going to say, okay, in this this selection here, and I'm going to hit F4 to lock that in place, that selection would be equal to this value right here. And I'm going to lock in the column. And that way I can copy this right, and it will hold the column, but I can copy down and it will move down. Okay? And then I close parentheses, and now I've set the condition. So what I'm saying is this sum product only relates to uh, these rows where the uh, no, where where the tenant is the type that I want. So now I do a comma, and now it's just a standard uh, sum product. I choose the rent, okay, and now I'm going to lock in here the rows. That way I can copy down, and it will hold my up and down. But I can copy right, and it will move over. And then I'm going to my my third my next array is this, I'm sorry, the square feet right there, and I'm going to hit an F4 there, close parentheses, and now I have my sum product. To complete the weighted average, I'm just going to divide this by a sum if, all right, because we only want to divide it by the square feet of the item that we're choosing, or that we're selecting, and the range again is, uh, okay, the, is this, I'm going to hit F4 to lock that into place, Criteria is this, right? And I'm going to lock in my column. And then the sum range is the square feet. I'm going to lock it all in, okay? Make it all absolute. Close it. And copy that down. Oops. Copy it down. And there we go. This is the weighted average rent for each one of these tenant types. Okay, and then I'm just going to make this, this is actually just equal to that. Underline this, and then I'm just going to copy this over. Oops, I'm just going to do a, well, all I want to do is copy the formulas over. When I, when I do a straight copy, then it takes the formatting. So I do a Alt-H-V-F, and it just copies the formulas. It keeps the formatting in place. Now one other example, or one other way I use this quite often, is I have a rent roll just like this, right? And I just have my weighted average for each one of these items. Let me just write that in really quick. And 
Great. And so I'm just looking at the weighted average of the entire rent roll, and I'm going to copy this over, just formulas. And I have the weighted average of rent and uh, months remaining on term and of sales per square foot. The challenge here is I don't have sales information for each one of my tenants. And so I have zeros in here. And these are in real in the real world, these aren't zeros. And so I have it zero. And what it's doing is it's skewing lower the overall average sales per square foot for this entire rent roll. And so what I want to do is I only want to take the average of those values that are greater than zero. And so I use this conditional weighted average uh, formula concept. I do some product, open, par open parentheses, two minus signs, open parentheses again. I undo the, the change from the two uh, dashes to one, just like so. And then what is the condition? Well, the condition is I want to look at all of these and only those values that are greater than zero, right? And then I'll take the that array, that array. I close it, and then I'm going to divide it by some if again. And I'm only going to look at those values that are greater than zero. Now, in your sum if, when you do a criteria, you need to set it within uh, quotation marks. So you'll notice it's greater than zeros inside quotation marks. And then finally, the sum range, and it's the square feet close it and there it's 4788. Now you'll notice before 365 and that's because it was averaging in these zeros. When I do the conditional take out the zeros this is something more in line with what reality is or at least we can say those tenants who report sales uh, are averaging $471 per square foot uh, on a weighted basis based on their square footage. So uh, that's conditional weighted average uh, in real estate. If you have any questions, comments, uh, you probably have your way of doing this. Uh, any tricks or tips you have, please let me know. And uh, thanks for your time.